Sure. Well, you know, credit to SIU. Uh, I thought we did a better job defensively the last 10 minutes of the first half and then the first 12 minutes of the second half. Uh, we took a one-point lead there at the under, I believe, under eight uh, minutes to go in there in the game. And I think you really have to give a lot of credit to SIU. They, they carved us up with their ball screen offense, uh, hit those back-to-back -back threes that, that were really killers. And uh, they made the plays the last eight minutes. How much did the foul trouble throughout the game uh, affect you guys and throw you out of your rhythm? Well, the foul trouble, it, it hurt us uh, from a standpoint of, you know, we need Wayne Langston and Bryce Jones on the floor as, as much as possible. You know, G. McGee got into foul trouble, then Jeffrey Moss. Uh, so it, it hurt us. But, you know, the, the, you look at the fouls, it was, it was even right down. I think, you know, maybe a 28 on them, 27 on us. And, you know, both teams shot a, a million free throws. So, um, you know, we can't afford that with our depth right now. So we have to do a better job adjusting to the officiating. What do you think you struggled with the most in the half court offense? Well, the, the last eight minutes uh, against their zone, if, if you look at the first half, we only had three turnovers. Uh, the second half, we turned it over nine times, and that's just way too many. Uh, and then to go one for nine from three against the zone there in the second half and, uh, you know, just didn't make the plays down the stretch. And, you know, we've done a solid job. We're not a great shooting team from the free throw line, but we're solid. And, you know, 61% tonight. And that really doesn't even tell the whole story because I, I believe we missed four front ends as well and some timely ones. What was the movement of the players in the locker room after the game tonight? Well, I think just disappointment. Uh, disappointment uh, when you're struggling, though. Uh, you, what you have to guard against, it's, it's real easy for guys to turn against each other. Uh, you know, we've lost four in a row now, which is, is unacceptable. But we've got to band together. We've got to come together as a team. You know, early in the year when we got off to our 5-2 and two start, uh, I thought we were just a tough, hard-nosed group that played for each other and played well together. And, and we've got to work to, as coaches uh, to get back to that. That's got to be our uh, what we're known for. That's got to be the identity of our team. And, and we've gotten away from that, at, especially at the defensive end of the floor. Really made Bean work for his points tonight. You know, how well did you do on Rodriguez uh, tonight? Did you feel it? Well, uh, Rodriguez uh, is just—he he, kind of makes—he just makes him go. You know, he's very solid. Uh, you know, we turned him over more than he's done all year. You know, he's—he's he's one of the leading guys in the country, assist to turnover ratio. Uh, but he—he he made some big plays down the stretch. I uh, thought we did a solid job on Bean. You know, he's an outstanding scorer. Uh, we wanted—you know—that's actually the numbers we talked about. You know, he said he's probably going to score 20, uh, 22 points, but we want him to be around 18 to 20 attempts to do so. So I thought we did a solid job on on Bean. Uh, Leo Benson had a big game off the bench for SIU. Kind of comment on his play and how he kind of springboarded them. Yeah, he played played extremely well. Um, you know, we talked about him being an instant offense guy uh, for SIU. Uh, came in, really gave him a spark. Hit a big three. Uh, there in, in the last eight minutes. And, uh, you know, really, if, if you look at it, he, he was probably the key to SIU's offense there down the stretch. Two more games before conference starts. What do you need to preach to your team to do in the next two weeks? Well, that's uh, we just talked about that out there on the radio. Uh, I think we got to be all about the team. And we've got to come together as a team. And when, when you start worrying about shot attempts and minutes and all those type things, it really uh, takes away – uh, from your ability to play well as a team. So from a defensive standpoint, uh, you know, if you look at the game tonight, we have to improve on our ball screen defense. Uh, again, uh, we're not defending the three-point shot well. You know, I think in Division One games, our opponents have been shooting 37%. You know, they were 30, right at it, 37% uh, tonight, and that's got to be a number we have to get down underneath 30. And then from an offensive standpoint, uh, as a coach, have to do a better job getting our guys in, in better positions to make plays and um, you know, just be a lot more efficient from an offensive standpoint.